being a teenager and I don't know about you but I really hated being a teenager and I couldn't wait to be an adult and even though that comes with its own kind of horrible stuff I definitely prefer it to being a teenager. Um, this particular poem is kind of at a time where everything's like really dramatic and awful and I've been kicked out of my friendship group and it's called Shanika is not your friend anymore. You are blowing out candles on your birthday cake. You didn't want to celebrate with friends this year. It felt too forced, like they were sponge crumbs slipping through your fingers. Your hair is in a low ponytail. And Shanika once said, when you wear your hair down, you're in a good mood. And Shanika is not your friend anymore. You didn't realize she knew you so well. Neither of you knew that when a daisy chain is broken, some can hold on. Years later, at the end of school, you sign each other's leaving books. But at this birthday party, surrounded by rocks of family, you pull your resources, buried in books and simulation games and repeats of American import television. You are slid down the sofa, sat on the floor, you used to eat your dinner on the coffee table like this, three placemats, just to watch TV. Just to have something to shout at. You're wearing a shirt with thin sunset club coloured stripes, an outfit much older than your years. You are a teenager. Already you can't wait until this is over. Hope for adulthood is what gets you through each day. The frayed edges of your family to be fixed. Friendships formed over new yellow cafeteria tables. Boy meeting boys that goes beyond butterflies. You are blowing out candles on your birthday cake. You are wishing years away like seconds were a game or a TV program to fast forward or to rewind. Um, so the next couple of poems are about dancing. So I have danced since about